Moving to a new town in Texas, whether you're staying in the state, nearby, or coming from another state, can be exciting and overwhelming. So today, I'm here to help you navigate the essential services and resources that you'll need to settle in smoothly. Let's take a look here at some of the public services for uh, vehicle registration and driver's license. In many cases, you can go to your county tax assessor or collector's office to register your vehicle. Every county is going to have one. For your driver's license, you'll need to go to a DPS or DOT, Department of Public Safety, Department of Transportation office, and you should be able to check online for the nearest location and the required documents for that. Now, if you're just moving within the state of Texas and you don't have to get a new photo or anything on a renewal, then in most cases, you can renew and change your address for your driver's license online without having to go to a DPS office. So you go to dps.texas.gov and then click on driver's license and IDs. That'll take you down here. Driver's license services, you know, in many cases, like I said, you can get uh, just online here. So you'll want to click on this if you're just changing an address. So if you click on that here, then this allows you all of the options that you can do with the online system that you don't have to go into the office. So in many cases, you don't have to take that trip, sit in line, deal with all the lovely, joyous, happy people at the DPS because we all know how much we love it and it's not always pleasant. So those are a lot of things you can do online with your license. You can renew it, change your address, you can renew it when you're out of state, you can track the process of one that you've already requested, all kinds of things. So there's all kinds of options with those, so that's great. I would definitely do that before just heading to the office. And in many cases, the DPS office is going to be really, really full and take several hours of your day, especially in some of the bigger counties and busier counties like uh, Collin County, Dallas County. You know, when we went to get my daughter's driver's license, we actually set an appointment a couple counties over and we were able to get an appointment. I think we were able to walk in or we did it within a week, whereas in Collin County where we lived at the time, there was a two or three month waiting list. So, you know, if you're not into dealing with all of that nonsense, then you should probably try to see what you can handle online. They might charge a nominal extra little fee for credit cards, which is silly, but that's probably cheaper than the gas and the waste of time to drive and do all that. So again, through the dps.texas.gov for driver's license and things like that. Here's a quick reminder to hit that like button, subscribe and share with folks who will appreciate learning about Texas real estate and life in the Lone Star State. Check that link in the description to schedule a video chat with me, and we hope to hear from you soon. Now back to our video. And then for vehicle registrations, just type in Texas Vehicle Registration or uh, DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, and you can go there, you can change your address, renewing. Sometimes, you know, I would wait until I get, you know, if I move, I'm going to wait on this until I get my renewal form in the mail. And we'll get here in a minute. We'll cover how to change your mailing address with the post office. I wait till I get my renewal notice in the mail, and then I just take that to the new county and renew it there and change my address at the same time. So your DMV is txdmv.gov. Then go to online services. Gives you an option of all the things. Some of these you can do online as well. 
and with the renewals even though the state has records of everybody's insurance coverage for some reason they still want you to show a physical copy which is absurd and kind of a pain but they're gonna want that so you go under motorists information renew your driver's license that's gonna take you back to the other page the DPS page right where we were a moment ago and your other information new license plates titles registration this is what we're covering today you know if you're moving I wouldn't bother too much with this until my expiration is coming up and then just do the renewal and license um, or renewal and the address change at the same time other than that I wouldn't spend too much time worrying about the registration of my vehicle So thanks for joining us. I hope this guide helps you get settled into your new Texas home. If you have any questions, need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Welcome to Texas or welcome back to Texas. And remember, I'm here to help make your move as smooth as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Lone Star Land for more tips and local insights.